Hi everyone, Dr. Boaz Mann from Boca Midtown Animal Hospital. And today I'm here with Roger. He's been pre-medded, he's nice and relaxed. But I want you to come and take a look at some interesting things that are going on with Roger. Here if you take a look here at the top of his head, you can see he has what looks like a cone forming. And here if you look at his ear, you can see that there are some dark spots in his ear. Now he has been diagnosed by a dermatologist with a uncommon condition called bonoid carcinoma in situ. This type of cancer requires treatment with the laser. You can see that again the ear has this pigmented area. These are areas that will develop into more advanced squamous cell carcinomas if they're not laser ablated early. And there's a study that we're using today that helps us guide the treatment by a dermatologist as well who has treated successfully many cases like this. Here we can see the cone and you can see that it's keratinized and this one is going to be removed by cutting with the laser around the cone. Here you can see it's been removed with the laser and if you look at the incision there's no bleeding and now we close it. And now you can see in my hand is a different laser attachment. This is a wide ablation tip and this is used to laser ablate areas like this that are pigmented and this is one of the reasons why we're using the laser because these are not really uh, requiring major surgery because they're on the superficial layer but we're gonna go ahead and laser ablate them before they develop into larger ones and that will help prevent them from becoming squamous cell carcinomas. Here is the setting that I use thanks to Dr. Duclos, the dermatologist who's treated many of these conditions. Here you can see the final pass has been made and this is now completed on these areas as far as laser ablation. Here you can see after we laser ablated there's still some pigment left but it's coming off and we're going to continue using the wide tip to laser ablate. Here's a lump again on the foot where we shave for an IV catheter. Again, it's small, it's benign, and we're going to go ahead and laser ablate it. After each pass, we go ahead and use just some sterile saline. We wipe off to see and feel if there's any of the evidence of this lump here still and it's almost gone but we're going to go ahead and give it one more pass with the laser. We will leave this the way it is. It does not require sutures and it will heal on its own and now the lump is gone. I can touch it and feel there's no evidence of the lump and Roger's surgery here is complete. The small lumps have been removed with laser ablation. The large lump you can see here has been removed and I put two sutures in it because it did require the laser to use for cutting. So here you can see what it looks like with the sutures in place.